Hey guys, it's your girl Meg and welcome to the most important video that I film all year long and that is the Meg O Beauty Awards. It is my 2021 makeup favorite. So we're talking just about makeup and we're talking about the items that I discovered this year that blew everything else out of the water because I have tried so many things and here's what I loved the most. If you wanna get into this, we have a nice mix of high-end and drugstore, something for every budget here. A lot of different skin types are going to enjoy these products as well. So if that sounds like something that you are gonna be into, make sure you stick around and watch this video. But before you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future uploads, and make sure to follow along on social media where we can be friends. I do a lot more makeup reviews, little tidbits of makeup every day on my Instagram stories, so I would love to be your friend over there, so go and give me a follow. This is gonna be a long video, just fair warning, so grab a snack, grab a drink, hang out with me, do your makeup while we're chatting about all this because there's a lot to go over, so let's get started. Okay, so just a little disclaimer before I get into this. This is the third time I am attempting to film this video, so this feels like a blur and I feel like I've repeated myself so much. So I might not be as long-winded as I normally am, but I have a feeling I still might be. But again, I've got a lot to talk about and I'm gonna kind of go in the order of how I apply my makeup, kind of do things by category that way. So we're gonna start with the first thing that I've been doing nowadays, and that is my brows, specifically this product that I discovered in 2021. It's been around a long time, but this is when I discovered it. This is the Got To Be Spiking Glue. Now this is technically a hair product, but I use it on my brows. I have the most stubborn brow hairs ever. They're very like wiry and grandpa thick, like the hairs themselves, but they're microbladed. So my tails are microbladed and there's not too much microblading in the front. And I've been wanting to try the whole fluffy brow trend, but for me, I can't get like the full on laminated brow look because of my microblading and micro shading, but I can start fluffing up the fronts of my brows. And I've tried a couple of things and they're just aren't strong enough, but this is. What I do is I squeeze a little bit out onto my hand with a spoolie and then just brush through the fronts of my brows and I can get a really nice fluffy fronts of brows. I'm actually using way less brow products, um, like I'm using way less brow pencil and pen and stuff as a result because my, I don't know, the shape of my brows just look a whole lot better when I've got these hairs sort of fluffed up in the front. It is like literally, it is literally glue. Like these hairs are stuck to my face. So I just brush them up with the glue and then I stick my finger and like press them to my forehead and they stay there all day until I wash them. Literally they will stay all day. And I know this has been around for a while, but I'm really glad that I tried it. I thought, it's not gonna work for me, but it really does work. As far as primers go, I've really been into gripping primers this year. If you aren't familiar with a gripping primer or what primers do and what kind of primers that might be good for your skin type, I have a whole video that you can watch. I'll link it up here and I will also link it in the description box. But gripping primers have been my favorite thing that I've been using this year just because I feel like it really helps my makeup last longer. It kind of gives a little bit of a hydration and it really helps the makeup stick on and last all day long. And my two favorite, I have a high-end and a drugstore favorite. My high-end favorite, this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer. So there's this one, and the drugstore favorite that I've loved is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. So this one is an identical dupe to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which I also tried this year, and I loved it, fell in love with it, and I was like, oh, this is a dupe for it, and I honestly, I feel weird suggesting the Milk one when you can get this one for $10. Like, it just is kind of a no-brainer for me so good. What it is is that this one in particular is this like really jelly. It literally looks like like a clear jelly. You put it on, it's very hydrating and fresh and cooling feeling, and then it starts to get a little sticky. And that's when you want to put the makeup on so it does kind of hydrate the skin, but then also grips on to whatever you're going to put on top of it and then it dries down, leaves the skin feeling smooth. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin like you're wearing tons and tons of makeup. And then with the It Cosmetics one, it's a little bit different of an experience. It's kind of like a lightweight gel lotion. I am almost out of this one. I have a backup waiting for me though. Don't you worry. So this one has, is like, 
more of a little bit of a lotion type consistency, like a gel cream. And then it feels more like a smoothing sensation where it kind of smooths the skin out, kind of blurs a little bit more. This one technically says that it is a makeup gripping base that also has a pore refiner and a hydrator with all day grip technology. So this one does all of those things. I will say it does feel a little bit more smoothing, like the base is smoothed out a little bit more. I wouldn't say this doesn't like blur the pores by any means, but it definitely kind of smooths the skin out a little bit more than this one does. This is amazing. Like my makeup will last all day long. I don't feel like this one gets sticky like the, like the e.l.f. one does, but I feel like it does the same thing. It really does grip onto the makeup. The makeup lasts all day like exactly the same as if I were to use that one. All right, we're gonna move on to foundations. This is a doozy. I tried so many skin complexion products this year, so many foundations, skin tints, serum foundations, all, the, all that jazz and all that jazz. I tried all of it this year. I tried so many things and I feel like this year was the year of like skin-like finishes, lightweight skin tints, tinted hydrators, things like that. It was really kind of had a moment this year in 2021 one and I really found quite a few things that I loved so I have five here the fifth one's kind of like an honorable mention but like I it was very hard to narrow these down but I will say the number one spot to take the crown this year has got to be this product and it's not going to surprise many of you and you guys are probably going to feel the same way this is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. This is a $5 complexion product, which is insane to me. It is got some hyaluronic acid in it, it has squalane in it, it's oil free, and it has sheer to medium coverage. I find that it leans more medium than it leans sheer, but you can definitely sheer it out. It is literally the most beautiful finish on the skin. It almost leaves this like beautiful filtered look. It is stunning. I am obsessed with this. I've gotten so many people turned on to this this year and people who swear by higher end products have tried this and have been like, wow, this is so good. It is truly like $5 magic in a bottle. The only thing is, is I'm just very disappointed in the shade range of this product. It is just abysmal. It's only 10 shades, which is like, I feel for something that can go to medium coverage, this is just not enough. But it does take the cake for me in the sense that it is so affordable and accessible. You can buy something like a foundation adjusting drops. There's darkening drops or lightening drops. I will leave the ones that I love below in the description box so you can find that in case you're having trouble getting this to match your skin tone exactly. And so you're still not spending a whole lot of money to get this to work for you um, But I do recommend everybody have some sort of shade address adjusting drops in their collection Because sometimes like if we are more light complected people and we self tan in summer and stay fair in winter We don't really have to buy multiple shades of foundation. I just stick to one shade and I kind of just like adjust it as the seasons go come and go so this has been a total favorite and um, in the sense that it's just got the most beautiful like skin like finish it dries down and it doesn't feel super heavy it doesn't feel oily doesn't feel greasy it's gonna work for so many different skin types I feel like if you're oily you're gonna like this if you're dry you're gonna like this just trust a girl on it it's only five dollars but again the shade range is very disappointing wet and wild I need you to pay attention right now and tell us that you will be expanding the shade range to this product because it is 2022 okay get it together now let's move on to some of the other products that really stood out for me this past year that I tried um, I was just thinking of things that really stood out to me and that I reach for constantly so one of those products is the Ilya super serum skin tint this is a very unique product I don't have anything else like this in my collection I just find that the experience is really unique this is just so cool it's got a broad spectrum SPF 40 in it which is a mineral sunscreen which is very unheard of for a lot of like complexion makeup products and the consistency of, consistency of this is really like a serum. It's very liquidy. Um, and I feel the best way to apply it is with your hands, which makes it so easy to use. So if you're kind of the, the person that just like doesn't like to fuss with a whole lot of things, like you're like you really like things to feel minimal, I think this is gonna be a product that you'll really, really like. Um, it is, like I said, super liquidy. It does have a fragrance to it. It's very herbal smelling to me like very herbal smelling. And I don't know how else to describe it and I can't figure out which herb it is. 
It is also pretty dewy, so like if your skin is very, very oily, you may not love this, but with all of my foundations and skin tints, I do set with powder and setting spray, so just an FYI. And when I do both of those things, I find that it wears really well. I've worn this product for almost the, pretty much the entire year, and it's worn well in whatever climates that I've been in that I've taken this to and I've traveled with it as well. So it worked well in summer, it worked, worked well in more drier and colder climates. Like it just, it's beautiful. And I really, really like the consistency of it. I really like that it has sunscreen. It's one of those products that's just really beautiful, really pretty finish. Um, it is more of a dewy finish. Like I said, it doesn't really dry down as like matte. It, does, it is pretty dewy. So if you're dry, I think you'll really like it as well. I feel like I've talked for so long, we're barely scratched the surface, so I'm gonna try to speed things up a little bit. One of my other favorites, so we're on number three foundation. This is the Tarte C Hydroflex Serum Foundation. This foundation has been such a wonderful find for me this year. It is this beautiful, liquidy foundation, very serum-y. It feels so lightweight on the skin. It does give a nice medium coverage, and it dries down, but it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel oily, it doesn't feel matte. Like, it's just this perfect finish, like this perfect, natural natural finish very skin like looking and that's what I really like about it I feel like it blends out like a dream a lot of foundations have been driving me crazy with how streaky some of them are and none of these that I've mentioned today really ever get streaky they just blend out like a dream it's just amazing this one again gives medium coverage and I it was something that I consistently kept putting in my bag when I packed and traveled so it's like if I kept packing this it says something like it was just so easy to wear makes my skin look beautiful like it's just awesome now we're down to the fourth one and then we have an honorable mention so the one I feel like even though I discovered this product in December I felt like it would be kind of silly for me to wait an entire year to mention it considering I raved about it tried it and I just love it <laughs> And I have a whole IGTV video, if you want to go watch it, where I'm testing it. This is the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. TikTok made me buy this $89 foundation. I'm looking at you, Michaela, and I ended up loving it. I totally expected not to like it. I already told myself I was going to return it if it was nothing short of amazing, and it was really, truly amazing. I just loved this product, and I hate that I love it so much. Michaela described this as something as that she would wear as like her wedding day foundation and I totally get that this is the perfect like event photo makeup this is not something that I feel like I would wear every single day but it is very special and it makes me look flawless like no matter what I how I wear this what primer I'm using how what I'm putting on top of it my makeup was looking flawless no matter how I applied it it's another one of those really liquidy lightweight consistencies I don't know I don't want to put too much out onto my hand because that's like five dollars right there right it's very lightweight and liquidy spreads out blends out like a dream it is truly just like it looks like you have a freaking Instagram filter on, you put the beauty filter on, and your skin is just amazing. So it's a traceless soft matte is the total perfect descriptor of it. It is so lightweight feeling, it feels like you have nothing on your skin. It is a soft matte finish, but that it is not dry looking. It is just like a filter. When I, when I say soft matte, it's like literally an Instagram filter. Is how I would describe how it looks. And then it feels, looks healthy. Like your skin looks amazing. Like I, guys, just, try. I would say wait for this to go on sale. If like, you're just kind of like, I really want a special foundation for special things. Like, yes, wait. If you're really itching to try it though, by all means have fun. Like you have a great, like you have a really special event coming up. Heck, you just want to wear this for the heck of it. Cause you deserve to be pampered every day. I say wear it and I say buy it. And then my honorable mention, my fifth foundation that I wanna to mention today is the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. Have we noticed a trend here with everything that I like this year, very lightweight, serum-y, liquidy type of foundations? They just seem to have done so well on my skin. And this Ilia one has no exception. I had a makeup artist do my makeup. One of my friends is a makeup artist and she came into town and did my makeup and used this on me and it looked absolutely beautiful. So I went out and bought it. It is different than the skin tint. This one is definitely more of a different experience, different finishes. This is definitely more of a, 
a tint. This one is like a true medium buildable foundation, but it's lightweight. It's pretty. It looks gorgeous on the skin. Um, that's all I'll say about that because I don't want to talk too, too long. So for concealers, um, I have three I want to mention today. Two high-end and one drugstore. And the two high-end ones I have to talk about are the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy, not the regular one, the Ultra Creamy one, and then the Kosas Concealer. So both of these are beautiful. They're very similar. The Shape Tape Ultra Creamy was something that really, truly surprised me and blew me away. I really actually despise the regular Shape Tape. It's way too dry for my under eye area especially I am 38 years old I can't use anything that is dry under my eyes anymore I need a very hydrating formula and I like concealers to be full coverage and hydrating set well under the eyes and wear well that's all I want in a concealer and this one totally got that for me I love the shade of this one too I have it in 22n light neutral I feel like it's the perfect shade for my under eye out of all my concealers, I just love the shade so much on this one. Um, and it's beautiful, so beautiful. If you haven't tried the ultra creamy version, it's really, really, really good. And then the Kosas concealer was such a winner for me as well. It was another really hydrating, creamy, 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 creamy formula. Um, it's also a clean makeup brand. I'm using air quotes. I don't care so much whether or not my products are clean or not, or not. but if you are into that sort of thing, um, this brand is really great. I care. Um, about like really good ingredients, high quality formulas and stuff like that. And this is really one of those products for me. Super creamy, super hydrating, really full coverage. I love the flat sort of app applicator and it just wears really well. It gives me everything that I want in, con in a concealer. And this was a very big surprise for me this year. Um, this drugstore product is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This was starting to go viral on TikTok, so I ran out and grabbed it before it was sold out everywhere, and I was pleasantly surprised. It really, truly shocked me how beautiful this is. It's like, it says concealer serum, bear with me. I expected a light coverage sort of experience, and it is not light coverage at all. I'm the kind of person, like, if I'm wearing a concealer, I just want it to cover stuff. Like, I don't want to mess around with light stuff anymore. And this product was is so beautiful. It does come in a little pump packaging, which I actually really like because I can control exactly how much product I am using. And it is this really creamy, like, a very thick, creamy consistency. And something about this concealer, I also feel like it has some sort of blurring optical blur some sort of blurring properties in it that really blurs and brightens that under eye up so nicely it is also one of those things where it's like is this like an instagram filter and a concealer like it really has something in it it does have a creamy 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 consistency i do feel like the, all of these i do set with powder by the way i do need to use a setting powder which i'll go over my favorite one in a second um but i i'd never wear a concealer without a powder and this is a very creamy consistency but it sets down really nicely and works with all of my other products perfectly i was truly blown away by this and that says a lot because it really takes a lot to impress me when it comes to concealers lately and these three really took the cake really were standout products so let's talk about the powder that i've been loving it is a drugstore product this is a elf halo glow powder and this truly feels like a high-end product if you would have repackaged this in like an hourglass packaging i would have totally believed you that this was hourglass or something and in fact a lot of people think this is very similar to the hourglass powder i just don't currently own that i need to go out and buy it just to make sure but this is a loose powder i really like the packaging it doesn't get very messy and you pour a little bit out in your cap and then I take my powder puff and press it in my eye or swirl it in with a brush. But something about this powder is got like a really, really like subtle glow and sheen to it. It's not glittery, it's not metallic, it's not like wearing a highlighter, but it's like this healthy sheen to it that is absolutely stunning. Once you put it on with a, I like to use a powder puff with it, it just like brightens, blurs, sets that under eye area. And when you use it with a fluffy brush across the face, it just gives a nice like healthy glow. It doesn't make you look too, too flat or matte. And that's what I love about it. I am I'm wearing it today all over the face and on my under eye area and I cannot say enough good things about it it's so so nice if you've never tried it it's only like eight dollars or something six to eight dollars I don't remember I have it linked below obviously and it does come in multiple shades which I think is amazing for different skin tones because when you're a d deeper complected and you put like a translucent powder on sometimes they create a lot of flashback and they're way too light so 
I do appreciate the fact that this comes in multiple shades to kind of fit different skin tones. All right, so my favorite bronzer of the year is definitely one that I so love very much, and this is the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer. I actually have this in the in the small mini version, and I'm gonna explain why. But I went through so many cream bronzers this year. I was on a cream bronzer kick, and there were a few that were really nice, but this one, at the end of the day, really stood out to me as the best one for a couple of reasons. I really feel like when, you're tr when you've got this small one, one that you don't need to purchase the big one like the full size because even in the small one you get so much product that it's crazy it's gonna take you so long to get through I've been using this for over six months and I still have this much to go through so I feel like that's quite a good amount of product that you get in this um, and I have this in the shade baked I know that's their most popular shade I'm gonna swatch it right here for you so you can sort of see that undertone it is like a little bit more neutral with a little it leans a little warm but it is very natural looking on the skin it is so incredibly easy to blend out and so easy to use like I just used my fingers there and it's just like beautiful I like to just draw it all over the face and then take my synthetic brush and just tap it in and blend it in and it's just perfect this is really great I like I said I don't feel like you need to buy the full size of this because it's gonna take you so long to get through the mini size of it and so for that it made it win for me because it's like this high-end product for like $15 <laughs> So I really liked that. Cream blushes, I was on a cream blush kick. I really was enjoying cream products this year quite a bit. And the this kind of swooped in at the end of the year for me and I was like, wow, this is so pretty. I can't not mention it in, in this video. And this is the Tower 28 Cream Blush. This is in the shade Rush Hour and I totally wanna go out and get some of the other shades. This is what that, that shade looks like. It's got a bit of coraliness to it. It is a really dewy formula, very creamy. You, I just tap my finger into the package and then I tap it on my cheeks and then blend it out with my little synthetic brush. It is so pretty. It's all, This color is like I've been out in the sun for a little bit. I'm literally blushing. Like it's, I feel like it matches a lot of my makeup looks too. I'm wearing it today underneath a powder blush, which I'll share with you in a second. I'm wearing three blushes. All three blushes I'm mentioning today, I have on my face. <laughs> so, is it just me or is blush really having a moment right now? It really truly is. And so I really had a lot of fun trying different blushes along like cream products along with powder products. So today I have a cream, a, a matte powder and a like luminous sort of powder blush I want to share with you. So the regular, like the powder blush that really took the cake for me this year, I actually have two regular powder blushes. I have a drugstore option for you too. So I have four blushes because blush is having a moment, right? So the powder blush that really took the cake for me is this one. This is the Patrick Ta blush in the shade She's Adorable. It's another really, really pretty, like, are you sunburned? Is it cool? You know, are you blushing? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> I really, really like it. It's such a really beautiful color. I am wearing it on my cheeks today. I feel like it goes with so many different makeup looks. It has a slight, slight, very slight sheen to it, but it is technically a matte sort of, sort of blush, but I feel like it's a healthy looking matte. Like, cause when you get this on your finger, it doesn't look chalky. It's just really so beautiful. And it's made me want to try so many more of his other blushes. I'm loving this so, so much. So the luminous blush that I've really loved this year, it's another, it's a high end product, but you know what? I deserve it and I love this brand. This is the Hourglass Blush in the, I can't speak. This is the the Hourglass Blush Ambient Lighting Blush in this shade Sublime Flush. <laughs> Let me share this shade with you. I have it on my cheek, literally wearing the Tower 28 Patrick Ta and this on top. Like it's very extra right now. This one is a more of a cool toned pink. It has little flecks, like a little marbling with some lav lilac color, a little bit of an orange, a little coral. And when you put it all together, it's this like cool toned pink sort of situation. that's very healthy and like glowy but doesn't look too glittery. It's almost like you don't have to wear a highlighter with this, but it is really glowy and super beautiful. And then there is the Patrick Ta, so you can kind of see them together and those undertones that those have. And then I had to mention this, I have mentioned this blush before, but they totally, um, I guess, reformulated this and repackaged it. This is from the brand Essence. This is called The Blush. It used to be called the Satin Touch Blush, but I guess they redid it and had some different colors. This one is in the shade Beloved, and I also love the shade Bespoke. These are $2.99 and they feel high-end. They truly feel so silky soft, smooth, look amazing on the skin, and they feel high-end to me. So if you're looking for just like a 
really great blush that performs amazing. Try the Essence blushes. You're going to be incredibly impressed. Let's talk about palettes and then we've got some mascaras and lip products. So for palettes this year, I really just, uh, I'm usually got so many more eyeshadow palettes that I've tried and loved throughout the year, but this year I just didn't, like, I wasn't all about it. I think it was having more fun with trying complexion products and, like, playing with cream products. That was kind of more my jam. And there's been so many great things that were released this year, but for some reason I just didn't touch eyeshadow palettes as much. But there was one that I really, really liked and that I used consistently throughout the whole year. And this is the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes Palette. I know this wasn't released in 2021. I'm pretty sure it was released the year before the year before that but it was one that I truly just loved this year it has a feminine kind of rosy tone vibe to it rosy tone neutrals I was is the best way to describe it you've got some warm tones you've got some rosy tones you've got some cool tones you've got some really nice metallics um, some sheens and it's just got like everything that I like and when I travel I love how sleek the packaging is it's like easy to throw in my travel bag if I if I want to travel with just one palette I know that I could create many different looks with it I also use this quite a bit on other people. I did a bunch of makeup on other people this year and when I was creating these looks on them, I was always reaching for this to apply to their eyes. I feel like it looked good on other people besides me is what I'm getting to. Anyway, um, this is really pretty, very, like if you're looking for like a really great everyday neutral with a little bit of feminine rosiness to it, I think you'll really like this palette. It's such a really pretty gorgeous eyeshadow palette. It's, it's gonna work for so many people, so give that a try. I have to mention this face palette because it is such a winner. It came out this year and I've been talking about it all, as long as it's been around. So this product is the Physician's Formula All Star Face Palette and this has got literally everything you need to create your entire face look aside from your foundation and your concealer and your primer. So it's got two bronzers, it's got two highlighters, then um, it's got a blush and a setting powder in here. So it's basically everything for your face. And I've also go in and use these bronzers on my eyes as eyeshadow. I'll use this highlighter on the lid for some shine. Like you can mix and match these. They don't necessarily have to be for your face only. You can totally use them on your eyes um, so that you don't feel like you need to pack an eyeshadow palette or that you need another eyeshadow palette. I love this for travel so, so much. This is my favorite Holy Grail bronzer. The original butter bronzer is right there for you. And then this is the matte butter bronzer, which is their newer release and has been super highly popular as well. Um, I actually really love this limited edition highlighter. It had like this really, really, really metallic overspray on it, but once you kind of get past that, you get this really like subtle highlight that's absolutely stunning. Like it's just this like really beautiful subtle glow. Reminds me a lot of the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, quite honestly. If you're familiar with that, that's what that is like for me, once you get past that overspray. And then this highlighter here is the um, Rosé All Day one. So if you like the Champagne Pop, like this is a really great champagne pop dupe from Becca. Um, this looks very nearly identical to that. So these face products are bomb. This blush is beautiful. This setting powder is not something that I just like reach for this palette just to grab this powder, but when I have it in front of me, I use it and I really like it. So I, there's not a single bad product in this. It's like, you know, with some face palettes, I feel like I just don't use some of the things in them. I use literally every single product in this palette. So Love this, highly recommend it. Best of all, this product is $15 for all of that. Not to mention it is always on sale. And last I looked at it, it was only $10. So this is insane to me. Like this is a complete no brainer. The, this is such a good product. Okay, so we're gonna talk about mascara. For me, one mascara in particular really, really stood above the rest as far as like, it is now my absolute favorite mascara. And then I have another one I wanna recommend that was like really, truly a game changing mascara for me as well. So the holy grail, like, oh my gosh, I can't live without this anymore in my life is this one. This is the Lash Princess Mascara in the Sculpted Volume Formula, so the purple one. I know the pink one came out this year and people went crazy for it on TikTok. I tried it, I was just like meh about it. I've tried every single Lash Princess, including the waterproof, every color I've tried and I have. And the purple one, I bought it because I was like, okay, I'm gonna try all of these. This one truly blew me away. It is like, if you love the green one, you're gonna love this purple one because it gives like 
volume, length, separation. But the thing I love about this one so much is I feel like I can just layer it and 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 it just looks perfect. Like I can just build it and layer it and do like six coats and it still looks good. I don't understand. It doesn't get like crazy clumpy. It's just always perfect. We have moved on from the Green Lash Princess, everyone. News Flash, we're doing this one now, and I need you all to get on board with me. Spend that $5 and try it so we can kind of have like a book club meeting over this mascara, okay? Where it's like a book club meeting, but for makeup, okay? I don't know, we'll make this happen somehow. <laughs> that is like truly number one for me. And then this other one that I tried this year was the Lancome Lashy Doll that really truly blew me away. It's another formula that is just incredible. It is got a synthetic wand with a curved wand, much like the Essence Lash Princess in purple. But a lot of people say to me that the Lash Princess does smudge on them. They have trouble with smudging, and that's really not your fault. A lot of the way that mascara performs on each of us totally depends on our facial anatomy. So if your eyes are very hooded or sunken in or your eyelashes touch the top of your near your brows, you know, sometimes mascaras just don't work as well on us and we really need to use either a tubing mascara, which I would recommend the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara, that was in my 2020 favorites, or use a primer. There's other things that you can try, but a lot of people that said that they have trouble with mascaras flaking and smudging on them really loved the Lashy Doll. And I'm telling you what, and, I'll, and I can vouch to the staying power of this mascara because I wore it in Jamaica um, and I had it on and I didn't have any intentions of going down this water slide, but I went down this water slide that literally plunged me underwater. Um, I was wearing this when I climbed up a waterfall and I didn't expect to get like super wet, but I did. That stuff stayed on. Like the rest of my face was like a hot mess, but my mascara was on and I was wearing this. It's not technically a waterproof formula, but it, I mean, they could advertise that it is like water resistant because I was literally plunged underwater and it didn't move. Like how? I don't know, but that's what happened. It is, um, it is a little bit more difficult to remove than some of my other mascaras, but I use a cleansing balm and I double cleanse. I use the cleansing balm, then my cleanser, and it's off just fine, easily, no, no problem for me. Um, but guys, if you've never tried this, it's totally worth the splurge. It is, I know, a more expensive mascara, but something I would totally recommend. We're at the very end of this where we're gonna talk about the lip products. There aren't like a ton, but I do have some ones to chat about with you today. I was on a nude lip liner kick this year. I don't know what it was. Well, I can tell you what it was. I tried Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner for the first time, bought it, love it. It is like the perfect nude lip liner for me, absolutely love it. And then I was like, oh, I'm, I, I just wanna try a bunch of nude lip liners now that I tried this. Like, I get it, I love it. I love, love, love this. So again, this is one of the first ones um, that I wanted to mention today. So this lip liner for sure. And then I ended up finding this lip liner in my quest to try to dupe it. It's not a dupe, but it's something that I think everyone needs. This is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Sand Beige. If you want like a beautiful, like con contouring dark nude lip liner, this is it. I am wearing it today with a lipstick that I'll share in a second. This lip liner gives you that perfect lip contour that's really in right now where you have kind of the darker lip line and the lighter nude lip. Girl, girl, come on, please, right here. And then this is, let me swatch Iconic Nude next to it so you can see the Iconic Nude is a little bit like lighter and a little bit more cool toned. The Sand Beige is, it's still very neutral, but it's a lot darker. It's so pretty. Like when you look at it out of the tube, you're like, that's gonna be too dark. But once you get it on your lips and then put a lipstick over it, it is just so good. And then I was also really impressed with Jaclyn Cosmetics lip products this year. Um, I have one of her lipsticks I'm gonna share in a second, but this lip liner was really a, a nice surprise for me. I really liked the formula. This is a shade Butter Pecan, and it's also another dark, like mid-tone, darker nude. This is in, like I said, Butter Pecan, but it's a little bit more warm tone, so if you like a warm tone nude, mm, 
this one is so, so nice. So those, these three lip liners were ones that really stood out to me as like high quality, great formulas. The NYX lip liner I actually bought in quite a few other shades aside from sand beige. So if you really like a retra retractable lip liner, these are so good. So we got some different price points for you here. But let's chat about lips. So the lipstick that I'm wearing with the NYX sand beige is this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Penelope Pink. My friend that is a makeup artist used this on me when she did my makeup and I really really like the tone of it. It is definitely not pink at all. It's called Penelope Pink. Let's swatch that right there. It is definitely more of a beige, like a beigey nude, light beigey nude. This lipstick is beautiful, especially when you have it paired with a darker lip liner. Another lipstick that I really, really liked this year was the Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks. This is in the shade Confidence. I really feel like she nailed the undertones of these. I don't hear a lot of people talking about them much anymore, but it was such a great find for me. It is a traditional liquid lipstick formula, um, which I felt was an interesting choice because I feel like people are really into just like regular lipsticks nowadays, but she did nail the formula too. It is. Uh, definitely a matte liquid lipstick like much what we used to love and you probably know and this is the shade confidence It's a very peachy nude um, Mid-tone nude. I don't know. It's just really 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 pretty on and every time I wear it on my Instagram stories I'll get a question like what are you wearing on your lips and half the time most of the time when I'm like wearing this I always get a question it is in the shade confidence it is really pretty. It's like a rosy peachy. I don't know. It's just like really good and I really enjoyed it and I'm not like the hugest liquid lipstick fan, but I found myself reaching for these quite a bit because I really, really like the formula. So yeah. Okay, there are some other drugstore lipsticks that I really enjoyed this year. This is the Maybelline Ulti Ultimate Slim Lipsticks. These were launched this year. They are really great. They are a little bit more long wearing than some of the others in here, but they're not quite as long wearing as the Maybelline Crayons or uh, Matte Inks. But this one is in the shade more buff. I really, really enjoyed this lipstick this year. Um, that one was really, really pretty. I'm not even gonna hide the fact that I've just been into nudes this year. Like, I don't know what it was. I just wasn't into bright colors. I wasn't into bolds or anything like that. I was just really into like really great nude lip combos this year. I was just having a good time and living my best life, trying all the nude lip liners and pairing them with nude lipsticks. I mean, I make no apologies. So I really like that Maybelline one. Another drugstore nude lip that I really, this is probably my favorite drugstore nude lipstick I found this year. This is L'Oreal Color Riche in the shade Fairest Nude. And this is truly like the most beautiful light beigey nude. Like it's a, it doesn't look super light on my hand, but when you pair it with a darker lip liner on the lips, oh, it's so pretty. Like so, so pretty. This is, this paired with sand beige, is truly my favorite drugstore lip combo of the year. And I have a whole video on my drugstore, favorite drugstore nude lip combos. I will link it up here and down below so you can check that out if you missed that video. And then the other drugstore nude lipstick, this one viral, it's really hard to find in store nowadays, but these are the Milani. I can't remember the exact name of it, but I will link it below. This is the matte formula of this, and this is in the shade Secret. These went viral, like I said, and I've got my hands on it. This is so pretty. It gives such pillow talk vibes. In fact, I wish I had my pillow talk up here to kind of swatch it next to it because this really is beautiful. It's like a beautiful, comfortable matte formula. It's so nice, you guys. You have to try these if you can find them because they're still like hard to find in stores. I have to mention one other product that is a lip oil that I've used I think since May or June, I can't remember. So how about half the year? I travel with it, like I won't leave without it. I have it in my purse. And this is the Clarins Lip Oil. <sighs> this stuff is so good. It's gonna be really kind of hard to sort of show you what this does, but it's kind of like you have to feel it to experience it. It is like the best of wearing a lip gloss and a, like, a, like a chapstick or a lip mask or something kind of in one. So it's got that like really nourishing, healing sort of feel to it. it. Smells like candy. I love the like big applicator and it just feels so comfortable and nourishing on the lips when you apply it. And then it just sets and like makes your 
lips feel so comfortable and then it gives you the most beautiful juicy shine so it's like wearing a lip gloss but with some like lip healing properties I know these are pricier on the pricier end but honestly I love them I hear that the people really like the Dior lip oils but I've heard that this one is better I haven't tried the Dior one but all I know is I love this and I know it's a splurge but it's something that I will continue to treat myself on because I really feel these are worth the splurge. And this is coming from somebody who has mostly drugstore lip products in this, this stash right now, okay? So trust me on that lip oil. It is absolutely amazing and it gives the most intense shine. It is so juicy looking. Like why wear a lip balm when you can wear the prettiest most comforting lip oil with like no makeup on, just a little bit of mascara and this? Oh my gosh, like best no makeup look ever. Okay, you guys, we are finally done. I really hope this is the last time I filmed this video because like I said, this is the third time I've filmed this and I'm really tired of talking. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know that this year was another like kind of harder year as well. It's a little bit better than 2020, but still like, ugh. I really hope things are better in 2022 for us. But I thank you guys so much for your support over these last years and you supporting me and my channel and my blog and my Instagram. I just really, really appreciate you being here and being a part of my community. You showing up to just watch, click links, be here, sending me DMs. It truly makes every day worth waking up for and getting to do what I get to do. Like, I'm just so excited this is what I do. Like, I get to do this. This is so awesome. So I appreciate you and I thank you so much for being here. Cheers to 2022. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you for your support and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.